you know, I was raised in the church and um, my parents were good Christians and, and I was raised to love the Lord and I did and I was active. Um, but when I was 15, um, something happened and it was devastating. Um, I felt betrayed in a way that um, I really don't even have the words um, to say it. And um, I felt like God had turned his back on me. Um, I felt like he'd abandoned me. And, um, and I had this big void, this big hole, and I didn't know how to fill it. I was a Christian my whole life. Um, we, I, we attended church, kind of hit or miss. Didn't have really good role models, um, male role models especially in my life. I joined the military right after I graduated from high school. I found myself out in the world, doing life on my own. I always felt empty, and I found myself struggling uh, for to fill the a void, to, to fill the emptiness that I felt. So I bought cars, I bought lots of motorcycles, I went had different jobs, and, and just never found what I was looking for. I found myself turning to alcohol to kind of fill that hole, and. Um... The alcohol then lended itself to drugs, and um, I found myself in just this out of control spiral. Um, and drugs and alcohol were my God, and that's what I lived for. I started dabbling in drugs. I um, eventually ended up being hooked on methamphetamine. I, that was my vice. I went from a casual user to someone who was using it every day. It got to the point where I had given up every single moral that I had, um, every principle. I, I, I lost myself somewhere along the way and um, I didn't know how to get back to me. And I'd wake up in the morning and I'd be so disappointed that I woke up because I just wanted to die. I found myself at the bottom of the barrel, wondering what I was going to do, losing my house, had no job at the point in time because I couldn't function. I couldn't hold a job because of my addiction. I considered suicide. I considered ending it all. In this moment, this moment of just true despair, I just called out and I just said, help me. And, um, and something changed. Something changed, and, and I began this this journey to recovery, um, to to get rid of the drugs and the alcohol in my life that were controlling me. And um, you know, I know that that was God. I was going to either end it all, or I was going to give my life to Christ. I chose to do things God's way. I chose to. Give my, give my life to Christ. God continued to work on me and, um, and I started to develop this relationship with Him and I found myself talking to Him and I found myself praying to Him. I don't get up in the morning and look in the mirror and hate myself anymore. I don't hate me anymore. I wake up in the morning and I'm happy to be alive. Um, I'm living today. Before I was just existing, before God was in my heart, I was just existing. They say that you have um, a feeling, you know, of being a completely changed and different person when the Holy Spirit fills you, and that's the way my life has been. It's I'm a completely different person. I have a hard time even looking back and figuring who that person even was because I'm so different at this at this time. I'm truly free today. And it's the most incredible gift anyone could ever receive. It's not one that I deserved. Um, it's not one that I could earn. Um, you know, he just gave it to me so freely. And even when I was running for him, he was chasing me. He just kept pursuing me through all of it. Every bad decision I made, every poor choice, every sin. <laughs> He just kept calling for me. Statistics say that recovery for um, methamphetamine addicts is around 3%. In my mind, those 3% are the people who did it through Christ. Because I don't feel that there's any other way. There aren't words to describe how good life is today.
It's not the same life. I'm not the same person. I am transformed. And that transformation is absolutely 100% because I asked Jesus Christ into my heart and into my life. The reason for the hope that I have is through Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be alive today or be able to tell you the story without being saved and without committing my life to Christ. The reason for the hope that I have is today I get to live. I get to live a life with Jesus at the center of it, not with drugs and alcohol at the center. I have hope today because Christ is the center of my life. Christ is the center of my family. Christ is the center of everything I do. And with Him, it doesn't matter what life throws at me, I have hope.